Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to have a look at a knife that actually looks like the animal it's named after. This is a pangolin by QSP. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase your own pangolin, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Let me try to make my case. I had never heard of a pangolin. I had to look it up. I'll try to roll in a picture here. And when I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, I could kind of see it. You know, it's got this armoring like an armadillo, which resembles the texturing on these G10 handles. It's got this floppy tail and the curvature of the handle kind of looks like that. And in the front, it's got the nose or face of an anteater, which kind of looks like this stretched out draw point design. So yeah, I guess it kind of looks like a pangolin. Let's begin with the size reference to give you an idea for what this might feel like in your hand. This is definitely a larger EDC knife. As we can see here, the permanent marker way thinner than the knife closed up that way. I'll turn this sideways so you can look at it that way. You can see the thickness difference here. Open it up. Alright. Turn it sideways, probably won't even fit in the frame, so long when it opens up. Let's have a look at it next to a ruler. And we'll just put that there as a square. It's about right. So closed up just about five inches. Let's open her up. Okay, just about eight and a half inches. All right, let's have a look at the thickness of the knife up here. Now, normally for larger EDC blades, it's the same thickness as the thicker side of a pair of chopsticks. Normally compact size and medium, it's the smaller size. So let's give it a go. Just about there. All right, let's get it on the scale. Coming in at about 5.3 ounces. And just as a weight reference, a deck of cards would be at 3.4 ounces. Let's have a look at the opening mechanism, and it is a flipper. No jimping up here in the front, but a nice little curve so your finger can rest in here. Flies open. We have steel ball bearings on the pivot. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Now, I would probably consider this a modified drop point, because normally drop points come straight across like this, and then they drop down. But as you can see, they put this little dip in here. And they put this beautiful swedge in here. And I think they did that to kind of make it look like that crazy schnozzo a pangolin has. So it starts off thick here, comes thin, and then thick again. So it gives it a really unique profile. Stonewash finish. We have a sharpening chole here that makes it very easy to sharpen the edge all the way down. Flat grind. You can see there, very easy to sharpen these because you don't have to deal with any crazy curvatures. All right, up front we got D2 steel. It's going to help keep the cost down. This is an extremely hard steel. It's going to be great against wear resistance, corrosion resistance, and that edge is going to last a really long time. Now the question is, how will it cut? Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Sharp stuff. All right, let's have a look at these beautiful OD Green G10 scales, CNC milled. Get you a better shot of that there on the other side. Love OD Green. Love the shape of this handle. Here, let me pop this open. So this right here fits perfectly with your thumb on the thumb ramp. And this hump, as it slides down, fits perfectly in the fatty portion of your hand. And we've got three finger slots, right? Pointer finger, middle ring, and pinky. I mean, that's just a natural feeling grip. Even if you reverse grip, like ice pick it, extremely comfortable. Let's have a look at the liner lock. Right, very easy, very safe to close with one hand. You just move that liner lock on the side, close it down. Let's have a look at the liner itself. Stainless. We got some cutouts here and here and on the other side as well. Here and here on the inside. That saves on weight. As well as the fact that they didn't go with a solid backspacer. They went with these standoffs. 
matching hardware as well. Very easy to clean these. You just blow some air in there and all the dirt flies out. Or if you want to take it down, got these Torx screws. Again, matching stainless. Let's have a look at the pivot. And on this side. Well done. We have a skeletonized matching stainless clip here. Not reversible to the other side. Tip up carry only. Let me show you what this is going to look like when you dunk it in your pocket. Alright, sticks out a little bit on the top here. Turn that sideways. Not bad for a large EDC knife. Once again, guys, this has been the Pangolin by QSP. Really tough and durable D2 steel up front that's going to last you a really long time. Beautiful, gorgeous OD green G10 handles. If you're looking for a larger EDC knife that has a unique profile, this might be the one for you. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase the Pangolin, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.